Dear Ones. I am Archangel Michael. We are approaching the date that men created as the birth of Jesus, our beloved Master. This Master was in his world, about 2000 years ago, to try to put love and forgiveness in the hearts of all of you. Many think that everything was in vain, that his death was in vain. You venerate him to this day. How was it in vain? His love is so great, so wonderful, so spectacular, that it passes through every little piece of time, seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, and centuries, and remains in the hearts of all of you. I know that not everyone, because there are other religions that do not venerate this master, but for all Christians he is the greatest teacher, son of the Father, son of the Creator. Much of its history was modified, to meet only the desires and decisions of those who modified it. There is a lot wrong with this master, and you will soon know every little bit of it. But today those who already have the most open minds already know. Many think it is sacrilege, the stories that appear, many think it is heresy, but deep down you will all one day know the truth, the real truth, the one that really happened. The only thing that has remained true throughout this time, and that can never be contested, and never will be, is this Master's love for all of you. It is an infinite love, it is an immeasurable love. Each one of you who has him in your hearts knows how sweet, light and peaceful this love is. Nothing has changed and nothing will change that. But he doesn't mind having his birth date celebrated on December 25th, he loves seeing all the families together, the children happily playing with their gifts, all these conventions that were created for the Christmas period. For him, what is enough is just the love between brothers, the rest he didn't teach. What he wants is for everyone, on Christmas Eve, to open their heart and let themselves be guided by positive feelings, of joy, love, harmony, happiness, light, weakening all negative feelings. Gather with your family, but gather with love, but true love, not cordial love, the one who is together because he has to be. No. Jesus doesn't want that. What he wants is a full table, but full of love and harmony, because even those who do not have the financial means to have a table full of food, but who unite in the spirit of Christmas, of love and light, are blessed from the same way, and often, even more than having a full house, a full, plentiful table, and love spread out and separated. Celebrate my brothers. Celebrate the birth of this great icon of the representation of love on this planet. A living icon. Someone you know existed. It's not history. It's reality, and you can count on it whenever you need it. Just my brothers, don't put words in Jesus' mouth. Just act as he acted, without discrimination, and without separation. Jesus never said anything that would make them interpret that the brother next door is worse than you or that you are worse than him. Everyone is equal before God, this Jesus said. So my brothers, during this Christmas season, with parties, meetings, and so many other not so pretty things, like drinking, messing around. May this time serve for you to really analyze what type of love you have in your hearts, whether it is the true love that Jesus taught, or whether it is the love that enslaves, dominates, begs, manipulates, maneuvers or allows itself to be maneuvered by the other. I am Archangel Michael. And I bless each one of you, who allows the love of Christ, true love, to enter your hearts.